In this video, I want to explain how your website will make you the most amount of money. So you know you need to build a website, but I want to review the exact type of website that you need to build. So let's get started. So in that last video, we went and we actually set a website up. We bought a domain name, we got our hosting set up and we installed WordPress. So moving beyond that, all you really need to do is learn how to use WordPress. It's not difficult at all. I have a tutorial out there about it. There are several other really good resources online to help you sort of learn the nuts and bolts of WordPress, but we're going to change our focus here a little bit in this video and we're going to move beyond just a list of tools and talk a little bit more about strategy. So this video is going to be much shorter but we're going to answer questions like what are we trying to accomplish with an affiliate marketing website? So before you go out and start building any content online you really need to review the ideal strategy that you're going to use. So this video is really all about how your website will earn the most amount of money. So in order to get through this video, we're going to refer back to our five step blueprint and we're on chapter three right now. So I have it open here to chapter three, how to make money with affiliate marketing, pre-selling and persona. So I'm going to scroll down to the section here that reads how your affiliate marketing website will earn the most amount of money. So if you can remember, you know, our definition of what affiliate marketing is, and that is that we make recommendations to potential customers. And when they purchase a product based on our recommendation, we're going to receive a commission. Now we do these recommendations through a website, but I did mention that there are other platforms out there where people can be successful with affiliate marketing. So people can run ads, they can do videos, they can do social media, but here we're focusing on websites. So one thing I want you to think about is why do people use the internet? Now there are several answers to that, but the people that you're going after that you want to target, these are the millions and millions of people who jump over to Google and other type of and other types of search engines and they're looking for information. So they have a problem and they need a solution. Now, you're probably wondering, how are you going to reach these people? And that's the ideal thing that you need to accomplish. People are out there, they're searching for information, they're searching for solutions. How are we going to reach these people? How do you make, start making recommendations? The more recommendations you make, the more commissions that you can potentially earn. Well, a great sort of analogy here is to think about real estate. So if you have a store that makes sales, the location of that store is extremely important. And I know you've heard of this phrase before with in terms of real estate, and that would be location, location, location. It's all about location. That's so, so important. Well, on the internet, it's different. For people like you and me who are doing affiliate marketing, it's all about information, information, information. So in order to make commissions, so money, you need to make recommendations. So I'm going to sort of reverse engineer this here. So you need to make recommendations to make money. Now, in order to make recommendations, you need to have a website that has traffic, that has people visiting it. Now, in order to have traffic, you need to have good information. So the next question is, you know, how do you create and share this information? Information leads to money in your pocket. So what kind of website do you need to build in order to achieve that goal? And the answer is you need to build a themed based content website. And these are often referred to as authority websites. So an authority website is just a website that covers a topic really, really well. So it has content like articles, videos, images perhaps, and it's all about a specific topic or theme. Now the content is mainly made up of, of what are called keyword focused content pages. And these pages, they rank well in Google and other search engines, which attract visitors to your website. So with all the great information that your website has, it's seen as an authority by the visitors. And therefore, 
when the website makes a recommendation, people trust it. So it's all about trust with these websites. You want to build an authority website that has a ton of great information. And when people find it, they are going to trust what you recommend them. And if they trust what you recommend them, you can make that recommendation and you can earn you know, more commission. You're gonna have a higher percentage of people who are eventually gonna buy so you earn commissions. So this process has to deal with pre-selling your website visitors. And I like to explain this through having some type of persona on the website. So as an affiliate marketer, your goal is to pre-sell your visitors. So visitor comes to your website, you're not gonna sell them something and push a product down your throat, down their throat. You're going to pre-sell them to when you make the recommendation, they're in a buying mindset. So you wanna give them all of the information they have. Remember, they're, they're looking for a solution, they have a problem, you wanna solve that problem, and then you know gently guide them to where they can buy the product or buy the solution. So you create a persona for your website, which is really seen as a friendly expert. Now, what you need to understand is that this persona can be real. So you've seen in some of my websites, that, which I shared in video one, you know, I was out there reviewing the electric shavers and giving the information. So I, I put my face on my website and the persona was me. But these personas, they don't necessarily need to be real. So you can stay hidden behind your computer, but you can have a persona who is sort of the face and the friendly expert of your website doing all the talking and, and doing all the recommendations. So, you know, these personas can be real people like you and me, but they can also be a persona that you make up who someone eventually trusts because they are the friendly expert. So you can almost have like a character sort of persona for your website. But the idea is that your persona is an expert on your website's topic and they supply great information and they make recommendations. And really they're seen as the expert and they're trusted. So again, this whole theme of making a recommendation from a trusted source, people are more likely to buy from you and you from the vendor and you're gonna make more commission. So what I'm going to do now is jump over to some websites that I found to show you sort of how this sort of works in action. Now, these websites I have no affiliation with, I just sort of found them. I'm not gonna vet the information, whether it's good or how much well these websites are doing, but they clearly sort of have this pattern of having a persona and having some sort of authority type of website set up. So we're gonna jump over and just look at some examples really quickly here. So the first website that I have up is called Dating Advice com. So you can see right here, they've got our experts. So they've got a panel of experts who are, seem to be providing information for this website. So right away, you come to the website and you think that, wow, you've got some dating experts who are sharing their advice on this site. They've got advice, they've got some studies, you can learn about the experts' forums, and they have some reviews as well. So if you go to the top 10 dating sites here, you can see they've got a nice list. And if you visit the site and you, you sign up for Match in this case, this website, datingadvice.com, is going to earn a commission. So they're doing affiliate marketing here. They've got a website about dating advice and they're recommending these dating services that when you sign up for them, uh, if you came through this website, they would earn a commission. So you can see that their whole theme is basically They've got these dating experts and they're giving away some really good information here. They've got latest advice, you know, the best dating advice from popular books, six best ways to meet older men, 17 best free Tinder alternatives and so forth. So their whole persona is a panel of experts giving out dating advice. So if I needed dating advice, I came and found this website, I see that they've got all this great information and I'm probably gonna trust their recommendation. They seem to be experts in this field. Now, another example here, a totally different topic is security. So this site's called asecurelife.com. So you can see here, they've got home security, um, they've got smart home, they've got safety, online security. So a whole bunch of different topics, giving out a whole bunch of good information or what seems to be good information, me just sort of scanning the site. So they've got a lot of different information here. If we scroll down, and we go to their about section, uh, you can see that here is their section about them. They've got a mission statement and they've got their team members outlined here. So they've got team members who are 
looking and reviewing and researching these various you know home alarm systems or, or home uh, security camera systems and so forth so right away they seem pretty legit they seem like they are experts in the whole security type of environment so based on their recommendations i would probably you know trust this particular site here's another one dog food advisor so this site basically gives out reviews and ratings of various dog foods. People who have pets, they want to get the best dog food uh, for their particular pet. They want one with the best ingredients that doesn't have chemicals in it and so forth. So this site, if you were to look through it, they sort of review a whole bunch of different dog foods based on studies and reports and whatnot. Now, if you were to go to the about section here, you can see that this site was started by a pet owner. Um, this particular person started the website and it grew into this authority site of dog food. And it, I'm sure it does extremely well and gets thousands and thousands of visitors who come that are looking for this type of information. And this particular story about this persona this person had a dog and I believe that they had some trouble with the dog uh, in relation to um, some maybe f uh, bad pet food that the dog had. They had some sort of tragedy, excuse me, tragedy uh, with their little dog there. So this was a pet owner who started this site and it grew into an authority for dog food. Now there are so many other sites here. I'll just go over a couple more. Uh, this website called Guitar Fella. Uh, it started out as a guitar player wanting to give advice on where to learn guitar and which guitars are the best for various situations. And it's, it's grown into a huge authority site on everything guitar, various types of guitars, the gear, the recording, where to learn it. And if you scroll down, it, it has some authors here. So this Jerry was one of the founders, I believe. He started this and it's grown into um, a big authority site on everything related to guitar. It's got some great information. And if I was searching for a new guitar, I was a beginner, I wanted to know where to go and learn. A site like this uh, screams authority at me. It's got so much great information that when they make a recommendation, I'm more likely to buy. And these people uh, who own the site are going to earn commissions through affiliate marketing. Um, some other ones, they've got this site called Kayak Guru. So they've got a guide on choosing a kayak. If you go to this about page, it says, hello and welcome, Mark here. So um, according to this site, the persona here is a gentleman named Mark. Uh, he's got a story and background about when he bought a, his kayaks and so forth, and he's reviewing them now and he likes them and, and, and all that type of stuff. Now, in reality, uh, this persona could might not be real. Mark might just be somebody who's out there who likes kayaks but doesn't want to put their whole um, persona, their whole personal information out there on the web. They'll just create this persona called Mark who's really into kayaks and has all this information and then supplies it. So that's the persona for this particular uh, website. One last example here, family survival planning. So this site covers the topic of um, you know, survival planning, so prepping and food storage, water storage, and various survival skills. So they've got some great information there and they're gonna make recommendations to people who are looking for solutions to this topic on where to get, you know, a water container storage units or, or how to prep, um, you know, a bug out bag or that type of information. If you go down to the about page here, uh, I believe it's a, a, a lady and she gives information because you know she's passionate about this particular niche, uh, why I created Family Survival Planning. You can go and read uh, that. So the persona here is this lady who who's, who's done this, who knows so much about this information, and she supplies really great information. So if I was sort of getting into this or I needed help on you know what products I should buy to to store uh, for doomsday or, or whatnot you know someone like this this type of site I would potentially you know uh, trust so again I haven't vetted these websites I just came across them these are just some examples of of the strategy that I've spoke about here uh, this theme based content website and how it's used to pre-sell uh, potential visitors and then go and guide them to where they can find solutions to their problems. So again, those are just some websites that I found. I'm not affiliated with them. and I don't know if they do well or they, if they don't, but um, at just first glance, they are doing um, quite well in terms of creating that persona and creating that authority uh, when you go and view them. So basically start earning commissions. When you have a website, that covers a topic very well, you will start to attract 
hundreds and thousands of visitors who are looking for information. Remember, people go on the internet for various reasons. A lot of them go on the internet to look for solutions to their problems. They're looking for information. And these are the people that you want to attract to your website. So when these visitors find your website, you will instantly be seen as an authority if you have a site that covers the topic that they're searching very, very well. So when your content is delivered in a friendly expert type of tone through some sort of persona, your website visitors will be ready to listen to your recommendations. And again, the more recommendations you make, the more money you will earn. So that's sort of the whole strategy that you should go for when building a website for affiliate marketing. You want to build a website which is seen as an authority for its topic and it covers a topic very well. So we went over a few topics there like dating, security, um, pet food, um, guitar, musical instruments, um, equipment like kayaks, and then um, things like survival gear and that sort of thing. Now, in reality, there are thousands and thousands of other topics and what your job to do next would be to choose a topic. So you need to find a topic that you want to start for your very first affiliate marketing business. So that's what we will cover in the next video, video number four. So up until this time, we spoke about what affiliate marketing is, we spoke about the need to build a website and I showed you how to set one up very easily. Here we spoke about the strategy that your website should use. So now we need to go out there and help you find a topic for your affiliate marketing business. So that's what we're going to do in the next video. I hope you found this one useful. If you have any questions about this strategy, again, join the Facebook group, jump over there uh, and come join the group. You can message me directly through that group. But if you're ready for the next video, then go ahead and watch video number four and I'll see you in that one.